Darling, darling, darling. Your girl Darlene McCoy. And that right there is new music from Choice Need, kept by his grace. And it's the responsibility segment. Dr. Eldewan Tart is here with us. And we are talking tonight about parenting mistakes that good parents make by accident. Come on, name some of them. All right, not enough quality family time. Really? Oh yeah, these cell phones are killing our ability to relate family-wise. So and you connect. think back, you think back back in the day, you 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 go with your family, everyone's sitting around talking. Mm -hmm. All right, you hear grandma and grandpa and uncle and aunt talk to share, you know, pass down stories about the family, right. have really deep conversations. Right. What's happening now is everyone's bringing their smartphones. And so you'll be having uh dinner Mm -hmm. And uh, teenager A will be on the cell phone. Mm -hmm. Mom and dad will be on the cell phone. Mm -hmm. And so they're not relating. Mm -hmm. And so what's happening is that you have a whole generation of kids mm -hmm. that feel invisible. They don't know what deep conversations are. Wow. So when they start dating and they have friends, they've never seen it model a deep conversation. Wow. You, you'll see teenagers in the same room that are they're there, but they're on their cell phones. They don't know how to relate. And so mm. what's happening is that it's killing our kids' self-esteem. because oh, wow. Because parents, when, they, when you sit down and listen mm -hmm. and, and connect, that makes you feel important. Mm -hmm. And the number one complaint I get from the kids that come into my office is that they don't get enough quality time with their parents. Wow. And so, like, even with my daughter, if I'm eating, my cell phone goes off. It's like crack sometimes. I look at it, and she goes, really? No. Really? That's, we're in the middle, I'm in the middle of telling you what happened in school and you're going to look at your phone. I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is important. This is important. Oh, More wow. important than you are. Wow. And so we have to dock and just take our cell phones, put them away, and honor family. Honor family. Listen, we're going to talk more with Dr. Aldewan Tart because we want to talk about these Mistakes great parents make on accident when raising your kids. It's the responsibility segment on the name of oh. That's Johnny McClurkin on the Nightly Spirit. And we have Dr. Aldewan Tart here with us for the responsibility segment. And we are talking about mistakes that great parents make by accident when raising their children. That first one, yeah, that was that's big. And what, what other mistakes? All right, number two, this is staying in the realm of quality time, is that we try to spend time with all our kids at the same time. Mm. All right, and that is a problem because kids want one-on-one -on -one time. Mm. So a lot of times what we think is that, okay, you know, we're going to take all the kids out, but that's not enough attention. So if you have more than one child, it is better to schedule one-on-one -on -one dates with them versus always having the brothers and sisters together. Mm -hmm. You do need that family time, but you also have to have that one-on-one -on -one time. Wow. Anytime you do that, the, the quality of the interaction is deeper. Wow. It's, it, you don't have to compete. You have one kid shut down and one kid dominate. You know, you know our children. Right. So parents need to schedule that time one-on-one -on -one and invest in their children. All right, uh, another one. We're not positive enough. Okay. Uh, the research shows that in order to build healthy self-esteem, it has to be a five to one ratio of positive to negative. Okay. And what a lot of parents do is that we are quick to talk about what we don't like. Mm -hmm. You know, get your grades up, mm -hmm. pull your pants up, but we're silent on the things that they do well. Mm. So we don't say, you know what, you're really good at math, or you know what, you're really composed, or I'm, I'm really impressed with the way you're taking care of your brother and sister, or how driven you are with your music, wow. or, or your sports. And so what happens is, we end up fussing at our kids, and we don't build up their, their self-esteem at the same time. Wow. And so even in the kingdom, we tend to be too critical. And, and think about it, God builds us up. He talks about, you know, you have dominion over the earth, you can do all things. Wow. And we'll say that, but we need to list the things that are great about our kids mm -hmm. because then they know it. Darling, okay. have you ever had a, someone tell you that you were good at something but you never thought about it? You're like, I didn't, I didn't know that was a skill. I didn't. You know what? I have, and it makes you feel really good when you find out something that you didn't think about yourself. It, it makes you feel really good. It, 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 help, it, help, it makes your self-esteem very healthy. It's yeah, I was, I was telling my daughter, you know, she, she reads to me in the car as we go to school. I said, you know what? You read like the Audible app. You, you read so well, it's like you, when you're reading, it's entertaining. Wow. And so now every time she gets in the car, she wants to read out loud. See, now that's good. That's the idea right there. We're going to do this. We're going to do more with, with Dr. Aldewan Tart about connecting with our kids. Our responsibility segment tonight 
is about our families. She girls are Arlene McCoy on the Nightly Spirit. Oh. And I have Dr. Aldemon Tart here. Normally we have a selfie session, but this responsibility segment is very important to our families tonight. And we were talking about connecting with our kids. And I was telling Dr. Tart a lot of times, you know, parents will tell kids, you know, turn that music off, don't listen to that stuff. But, but that's the way that me and my kids connect. I listen to their music, you know, and I think Drake got a new album out and my son got in the car. He's like, Ma, let me let you hear this. How you like that track? I'm like, eh. He's like, what about this one? This one's trash, right? I'm like, I'm not kidding. I'm only kidding. No, no, you're I'm not. You're not. I'm not kidding. You're, 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 not, kidding. <laughs> you're not kidding because a but lot of people would say, they, we'd stop and say, don't listen mm -hmm. to that music. Mm -hmm. All right? Don't listen to that demonic stuff. Don't listen to Drake. That's what's wrong. And we start condemning them. Yeah. And we miss an opportunity to say, hey, you know what? What you're into is interesting. Yeah. All right? Why are you interested in it? Right. And it, we don't have to agree with it. Remember when we were listening to music, our parents right. didn't like it. Right. You know, so when we listen to Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg or whomever we, we listen to, uh, you know, you, you, your parents don't have to say uh, uh, condemn it because then they say, you know what, what you're interested in is, is unimportant. Right. And, 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 and how, how does that make they, they And something's wrong with you for even liking it. Mm -hmm. And we miss an opportunity to connect. Right. You know, and that's just not what Jesus does. Jesus mm -hmm. meets us where we are. That's exactly you right. You know, you know, the disciples, the people around him, they weren't perfect. That's exactly right. You know, right. so we have to make sure that we're modeling that, right. you know. And I think that brings us to another point is that is we're talking about saints. There are a lot of families that don't pray together. Mm. They don't pray together. Mm -hmm. All right. And so there are a lot of kids that I see have never seen their father pray. Never mm -hmm. seen their mom pray. Don't know how to pray. And mm -hmm. so we'll, we'll pray in our private quarters, but you have to have your family to where you are praying on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. And then to even add to that, you know, we have to start teaching our kids the Bible. That's the truth. All right. And so we're expecting them. They're not going to get it in school. And we have to start not only helping them understand the word, but listening to what they think about it so that they're able to evangelize their friends. That's right. They have to have their own perspective. And that's on us as parents. That's right. Dr. Aldemar Tart, thank you so much for being with us for our responsibility. Oh, can I segment. tell them something? I'm sorry. Um, at Dr. Tart. At, at Dr. Tart. Yes. It's a mental health panel at Beulah Missionary Baptist Church this Saturday at 9 o'clock. All right. Thank you so much. And the family, it is... What's your dilemma? Coming up in five minutes on the Nightly Spirit. On the Nightly Spirit. <laughs>